The concept of illicit financial flaws is multidimensional and transnational in character as it crosses borders and continues to diminish the income of the more needy while weaponizing the secret, secret wealth of the buyer's riches. Therefore, it should have no space in any economy to seek to develop sustainability and contribute meaningfully to the socioeconomic well-being of a nation. Like the concept of migration, they have countries of origin and countries of destination. And there are several transit locations. The whole process of mitigating illicit financial flaws, therefore, cuts across several jurisdictions. These jurisdictions may protect fake charitable organizations, facilitate money laundering, warehouse distinguished corporations, and conceal anonymous trust accounts. Ironically, the fact remains that the funds involved often come from jurisdictions with scarce resources for development, financing, depleted foreign reserves, drastic reduction in collectible revenue, tax underpayment, or evasion and poor investment inflows. Which statistics has proven Africa and Latin America are the main victims in most cases. 